Welcome to Inner Elements Image from the Inside Out. These workshops are designed to help you match your inner desires with you and your environment. Get ready to take notes and begin to look at image in a whole new way. Now, a word from our sponsors. Design Innovations by Franklin Building Supply is a state-of-the-art concept in interior residential design services. With the widest array of top quality products available, Design Innovations is truly a one-stop solution center. Idaho's best home builders, remodel professionals, and interior design professionals use Design Innovations because it is an integral part of their process. We help create the homes their customers dream about. We want to take your vision to the next level. We are here to help make your dream home an easy process. We have every solution to turn your home into the place you dream of. We provide state-of-the-art equipment to help you build entertainment, theater, and home systems that suits your style. For more information or to schedule your next appointment, please contact us at 898-1740 or visit our website at designidaho.com. going to talk about is image in your home and this is really you know I, I'm an empowerment coach I'm a writer I'm a speaker but I'm also an interior decorator for my husband's business I'm half owner of a construction company and I do that on the side for fun and really it was out of necessity it wasn't for fun but I like to do it and I'm surprised how overwhelmed most women are when it comes to just setting up their home there's so many options it's not because they don't know what they want Come on in. It's just because there's so many options. And, and the internet affords us that, but it's kind of going, okay, now what do I do? So image in your home. Do you come home and feel embraced by your environment? Yeah. Is your house hugging you? That's, that is really key when you walk into your house, is to create an environment that feels like it's just a warm blanket around you. I mean, it's safe and it's, it's just harmonious. It's really key, and a lot of times we get so busy with life, our, our home becomes our place we sleep in, and we get ready to go to the next event in, whatever that event may be, work, you know, a birthday party, or, or whatever. It gets overwhelming. Does your home entice you to relax, take comfort, and feel a sense of harmony? And the key word there is, is entice you. Does your home entice you to relax? I mean, does your bathtub call your name? Does it know your name? Have you seen your bathtub? <laughs> These are important questions. Image isn't just about your suit, your posture, or your lipstick. Image is about setting yourself up for success, and that does include creating a harmonious space to rejuvenate in. That's the key. Now, if you can't create that in your home, go for a nature walk every day. You have to have a place that you get re-inspired in life. And, and it doesn't have to be your whole house, it can be a space in your house. So that's what we're going to talk about. The change begins with your perspective of image. So I want you to look at the word image over there, because we're going to break it down. Come on in! Yep, come on in. Yep. We're going to break down the word image. I love acronyms. So the first one, I, is to inspire yourself. M is for mental downtime. A is attitude is everything. G is to get rid of stuff, and I did say that out loud. Get rid of stuff. And the keynote is stuff. And E is expect time to rejuvenate. You have to expect to rejuvenate in your home, or you're not going to rejuvenate in your home. It's going to be one more place to get chaotic in. Okay, flip your page over. Inspire yourself. The three key points to inspiring you is to know that your home does affect your mood. How many of you believe that? Absolutely. I cannot wake up to a sink full of dirty dishes. I am in a bad mood if I wake up to a sink full of dirty dishes. I don't care where those dirty dishes go, as long as they're not my sink. They can go in the trash, they can go in the garage, they can go in the dishwasher with clean dishes. I don't care. Just don't leave me a sink full of dirty dishes. It just does something to me. It totally impacts my mood completely. Your home affects your ability to recoup. Can you really relax and clutter? And I remember a couple years ago, I got really sick. 
And a couple of my close friends, I won't call on you, we're going to pass these back, if you will. A couple of my close friends that knew me at the time would come over to see me. And I mean, I was on bed rest for three months. I had strep throat, it traveled to a bone in the back of my head, nearly killed me. And I was supposed to be laying down. And I was cleaning my kitchen floor, and they're going, you're not relaxing. And I'm like, I can't relax in dirt. I can't relax, and they're like, I don't see any dirt. I can't relax in clutter. That's my personality, but I can't relax and rejuvenate if I feel like there's something over there that needs to be done. And I can shut the door. I can do that. But as long as the space around me looks clean and neat, that's my personality. You have to know your personality. If you can shut the door and forget about it, then that's great. Find a space within your space to relax in. But you have to know how can you rejuvenate. For me, can't rejuvenate in clutter. It totally won't work for me. So I have to go to bed in almost a clutter-free environment. I have three boys. They all put away their clothes. They're four, six, and eight. Now they hang up their underwear, okay? <laughs> and that's fine with me. And they call putting their sheets up, making their beds, and that's fine with me. It's their way of doing it, as long as they can find their stuff. But they all participate in putting away, cleaning up, and decluttering the house. If it's left out, it gets put in the garage till the end of the week, whatever it is. Whatever it is, you want to find your stuff, it's probably in the garage. My husband included. He has more stuff out there than anybody. And um, probably shouldn't have said that on tape, but OK. It's overwhelming. It's o clutter is overwhelming. Mentally and emotionally, it stresses you out. It does. And it doesn't help you be productive the next day at all. And it doesn't lead you to creativity at all. We're going to talk about that. Your home should honor your lifestyle. How many of you have a home that honors your lifestyle? Yeah. I want to talk about that. See, because we're in different phases of our lives. Yeah. You walk into my home, and we go downstairs. We have a costume closet. Now, you wouldn't look at me and think, we have a costume closet. But I have three boys, and they're young, and they dress up all the time. I've been known to be Batgirl doing errands through town, and I scare people in Meridian. But I get to the front of the line. <laughs> <laughs> they think I need my medicine or something. But it's great. But the thing is, we have a costume closet. We have an art room. It's a whole wall is a chalkboard wall, magnetic. A place that they can just have fun and create. It's a linoleum floor. I can literally hose those kids down. We have a hot water tap outside with a play place and a huge sandbox. They can be hosed down outside. We do mud baths, and then they get hosed down before they go in. It works for us. Now, in 20 years, that's not the house I want to be in. I want a jacuzzi, a spa room, a sauna. I want it to look different, right? I'm not going to be dressing up in Batman, hopefully, anymore, or using a great big chalkboard. I might, you know, but I probably won't be using those things, and definitely not a sandbox. So you kind of look at, well, what phase are you in? Does it work for your lifestyle with what you have going on? Mine absolutely does for the phase that I'm in now. That's the number one question. Where are you at in your life? And is your house working for that phase of your life? It's going to transition in the next five to 10 years. And just be ready. You know, the space can change. You can change it up. You can paint that wall. You can put chalkboard paint over everything. It's great.